encouraged uh, the keeping us fit. Um, we have a really amazing uh, organic, uh, you know, farm uh, business here that provides us with really super good food. Our water comes out of the mountains here. It's all uh, filtered through diametaceous, or not diametaceous, but uh, the the granite, the granite that's all broken down. I forget what that's called. Decomposed granite, and you know, it's. Um, I think it's just it, the lifestyle here is is created or becomes one with the climate and the ambiance here because it is so unique and so pure. And if you're going to be down here and you're going to give up a lot of the things that you do have to give up, you know, by uh, moving away from the United States, what you gain. Uh, and what you can gain here is um, a really healthy lifestyle and one of uh, a balance, uh, keeping your emotions in check and learning to um, accept, love, be patient. I mean, it's it's a perfect uh, palette for um, a spiritual growth. And um, if you uh, consider, you know, what is available to you and take that to heart, um, you can, like I said, I'm 70 and every day people are saying, you know, you don't look that way. And I go, well, I don't feel that way. I don't even know. A number is just, you know, kind of a state of mind. So, you know, I, it's very true, Ryan, this place does keep people. Once you get into the bottle, it's easy to get into the bottle here too, because it's a lot of free time, but most of us have such interests that we don't really, you know, that's not what we want to go. So, yeah, but yeah. it is a, it's a wonderful place. Well, so you, uh, you're based out of San Jose. Uh, I know you have um, bought property up on the Pacific coastline. You bought property up in Santiago. Um, you spend time up in Pescadero or, or Toto Santos area. What's the future look like for, for CJ? Well, I think what's going to happen is that um, I'm going to stay here. I'm probably based here. Um, my, my house is for sale, and so... I'm uh, in the process of. I'm in the. I'm in the process of. God, sorry, guys. Get rid of that one. <laughs> you getting interrupted? Anyway, yeah. So my uh, my future basically is to stay healthy, to stay here based in San Jose, and to uh, start moving slowly but surely up towards Toto Santos and Pescadero. Now. Uh, my house is for sale. I'm ready to go into a new decade uh, with a little different um, adventure and agenda. And if that happens, but I'm preparing myself for um, a move up that Pacific coast. I love it up there. The weather's a little more uh, tranquil than it is here. It's not quite as extreme. There's a lot. There's a huge growing uh, farm community up there with organics. And um, I think the future is uh, wide open for one, but also it's um, – still not even close to the development that's happened here in San Jose. So for me, it's sort of like a, a retreat back to the 80s when I was here. The, what I came for, what I loved was that that raw, basic Baja feeling. And, um, you know, my wife is working in real estate, so she it will remain so if she chooses to. But at the same time, you know, we're both kind of looking that way. I think it's good to always have sort of a like um, a goal or something or dream to keep that dream alive. And um, so I'm, and also too, it's just, it's a, it, on a small level, I don't, I'm not a developer, but I like to look at it and find a lot that I think has uh, potential and I can go in and put water and power onto it and make it nice. And if I don't sell it, maybe I'll build a spec house on it someday or not a spec house, but a, like a rental situation, you know, and if not, then, Somebody comes along, they might want to buy it because it's all ready to, you know, plug and play. So, um, you know, that's kind of my goal right now. So the Pacific coastline could end up being home for you is what you're saying. Yep. It, it's very likely could be. It might not be tomorrow. It might be in five years. But I, I'm, I'm kind of focusing that way. And um, I just more and more I look at it, it has. I'd love it if it had a golf course up there. That's one of the things that uh, I would miss. But um, there is some up the Pacific coast, north of Cabo, and there's some up in La Paz. But, uh, you know, overall, I mean, you know, there's a lot to do there. There's a lot of bicycling and hiking and swimming and paddling. And, I mean, you know, again, um, if you're bored here, I think it's because you're a bored person, a boring person. So <laughs> right. I think well, you so have to. Let's real quick here, CJ, talk a little bit about your house, what what the name of it is, how people can find out about it if they want to live there or want to come and stay there, not live there. Um, you do weddings there. You do uh, 
I, I, something tells me you shy away from the bachelor parties. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I I've had them in the past, and they usually don't really jive with uh, <laughs> the energy that's here. They get yeah. a little too outrageous, so I keep a limit to that. I prefer yeah. not to have um, those kinds of parties and stuff. But you know, the weddings are fine as long as you know we kind of know the details of what's going down. Uh, the name of the, the the website that I have is Cabo Villa Surf dot com and um let's you know, spell you that so people yeah, spell party. that out spell it out so we get the uh, url right the, oh the website. Cabo, c-a-b-o villa v-i-l-l-a surf s-u-r-f dot com there we go and that's the actual website and then um and yeah, can you book so can you book you directly me. directly on your website you can you can book directly on my website, or you can find me at two nine zero one eight two on VRBO, or just look up you know Villas Beachfront five bedroom on Airbnb, and um, you know that's where that's basically all that I do for any type of um, advertising sure. or anything like that. And um, and if you are planning a wedding and you want to do it on on CJ's property. Um, you can also hire CJ to officiate your wedding. Is that? Are you still doing that? Well, yes and no. <laughs> because you went through <laughs> because, the the process to become an ordained minister in Mexico, right? No, I I never did. Oh, I thought you did. I take that back. No, uh, what what happens here in Mexico? Most people get married in their hometowns in the states. So, but they like to come down here and have the ceremony and they like to have a party here (laughs) then they want to do it on the beach because it's very romantic and it's very fun to have all your friends down on the beach you know partying out so i've been hired in the past to officiate and which basically as i help with the vows and um i know the process of a wedding and how it how it's supposed to be you know in terms of the process uh, and then I'll put together vows with the people if they choose to. And then so I, I can help them do that if they choose to. Many people bring their own people in or whatever. I don't use that as a business. You know, I am a Mexican citizen now. I, I carry two passports. Um, I'm legal to do so, but I don't um, really, you know, advertise for that. If somebody decided that they like my style or a lot of times the people who are my friends or friends of friends, um, I'll do it. But I'm not really out there trying to, um, you know, uh, get that kind of business. You're not hawking yourself as a priest. Nope. <laughs> right. but I usually make that very clear to people, too, because I don't want them to have, yeah, to have yeah. any, you know, ideas that they think that I'm legally marrying them or that sure. I'm, uh, I'm usually non-secular, you know. I mean, it's a, it, it can be very, very spiritual, and I can add some, some religious tone to it if they choose to, but normally it's uh, kind of non, you know, religious. It's just a very sure. spiritual thing. And I can take it as far as the people want. It's generally up to the the, the partner, yeah. you know, the people getting married. You know, so, so you're on the sand, three story home with a beautiful pool, um, lots of outdoor spaces and patios, uh, right in front of a surf break. Parking is fairly decent. It, it, it actually, uh, anybody that is looking for a place to stay in San Jose del Cabo that wants to be on the beach, um, that's not looking for the pampering of a resort. Uh, I can't. I can't think of a better place to be. Actually, you've got everything you need right there, and you're close. I mean, for for as as beautiful it is, and and secluded as it feels once you're on the property, um, you know, you it's it's also nice that you're right down the street from the grocery stores, and and not too far away from the bars if you want to go to them, and so on. So, really great location. Walking distance to restaurants yeah, and uh, yeah. shopping, grocery stores. Exactly. It's all good. Well, CJ, um, we're bumping up on on the hour mark here, and I, I really okay. appreciate the time. and And I think that uh, you know a lot of cool little little vignettes shared here. You know, I came into this without um, any solid real direction, other than knowing that you're a guy that's been uh, augered in in Baja, Southern Baja, for several decades, and you've kind of seen you've seen a lot of stuff down there. Um, any parting words for for the listeners here? pieces of advice, thoughts? Well, I just believe that, you know, people who uh, have a passion for this kind of life, and a lot of it, it's not just beach, but it's uh, living in a different culture, 
you know, the place, the opportunity, uh, it's still wide open. It's a beautiful, beautiful opportunity to come down. I would say uh, have your financial thing in order. Uh, come travel down here and vacation first. You might want to come two or three times and kind of get a feeling because you have a wide uh, area here, the Pacific Coast up towards La Paz, and then you have the East Cape, which is over, you know, by Los Pariles, Buena Vista, La Ribera, those towns. Uh, there's a lot of different lifestyles here available, but I would just say that, um, you know, you have to think about what you're giving up, but you also have to, you know, realize what you're going to gain. And if it's that much important, if it's that important, then I would say, you know, come on down, give it a look, and, you know, you could be um, a member of this community uh, and you'd be very welcomed because the people here are very still very, very loving people. I, I would, I would uh, agree with you on that one, CJ. Listen, again, thank you for your time. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back down and saying hello and, and seeing you here sometime soon. And um, with that, I think I'll sign off here. Uh, this has been the Baja Sessions with Ryan Thomas and Chris Johnson from San Jose del Cabo. Go ahead and tune in next week. We'll have another interesting person with interesting stories all related to the majestic peninsula of Baja, California. Don't forget to check out the BajaMap.com if you'd be interested in owning a leather-bound 60-inch canvas map of the Baja Peninsula. Thanks for hanging out with us on the Baja Sessions. We'll be back next week to chat with another Baja brother or sister. And until then, viva Baja! This episode of the Answer is Yes Baja Sessions is brought to you by Baja Bound Insurance Services. Driving to Mexico? You can buy and print out your Mexican auto insurance policy online in minutes with their easy-to-use website. They also have great travel information to help you plan your trip south of the border. Visit BajaBound.com.